hello and welcome back to my training so in this video we are going to go over the introduction an introduction to PixArt. PixArt. in the last video i told you to download PixArt, which is the app we're going to be using for our graphics designing so i hope you all have it now if you don't please refer back to the introductory class and download it there so this is the PixArt. this is their logo so i'm going to launch it now and when, once you open it this is the interface so to begin you just select this and you can either choose to work on a picture select from the list of pictures on your device or you can choose a canvas to work on you can work on colored backgrounds you can work on a blank background you can work on a transparent background transparent background is for doing a logo that can be exported with png you can create a new project pick a canvas you want to work on the size of the drawing board you want to work on you can also pick a picture too you can also pick a picture too for your canvas or a black background whatever you choose it's totally up to you depending on what you want to do so i'm just going to pick a, pl a white a plain background for now so i'm going to walk you through the entire interface these are the these are most of the places you are going to be using these are the this is the tax bar tools you can crop your image you can shape them clone you can remove something and i'll still walk you through how to use some of this you can create curves to curves for creating dynamic graphics design <coughs> you can resize your image you can adjust enhance that's beautifying it you can add motion to it and make it dynamic effects these are mostly this one i don't tend to use it more it's mostly for photography editing your background adding some effects to your image we don't need that for graphics design to beautify is also for um, photography but you can use it to beautify your graphics at the end of the day so the stickers what are stickers stickers are like cutouts or uh, you can download some free stickers online something like a youtube and um, facebook logo instagram logo whatsapp logo in case you want to add the contacts on your graphics but i can show you how to create a sticker on your own you can head over to my stickers and see the cutouts these are all stickers i've created i lost a lot of my stickers that's why you can only see only a few but i'm going to show you how to create in this video so what else you can add text and select once you add the text you can choose the color you want you can use a gradient which is actually a good feature you can also use texture texture and add an image to the text let me just show you quickly how to do that i'll just pick any image and you see it has been applied you can apply a stroke to give it like a border and choose you can specify the color for the stroke whatever color is specified also you can decrease or increase the opacity based on how it suits suits you well you can add shadows to it adding a shadow to it it gives it that dynamic look of a 3d like but i'm still going to show you how to do a 3d like so you can move the adjust it so it will look 
more realistic, something like this. And then there you have it, a basic GKKSF, whatever that means. This is like a brand logo for someone, for some business. So we just this and you can collect your money for designing something you just wrote with text and apply the picture to it. That's how easy graphics can get. So on this image too, you can add more text. Let's say we offer um, travel. logistics <coughs> um, bookings let's say this is a fictitious brand that offers this you can adjust the text adjust it I want all of them aligned on a straight line and below this so I'm going to set that up. You can see this great feature that tells you where you are. Like I can choose to align this in the middle. It's aligned on the center. Here's my text again. <coughs> ah, I can't find. I can't find that text again. Yeah. Where is it? I forgot to change the color, which is why I'm running through all this hiccup now. Uh, what is all this? Yep, we have it. Let me just change the text color to black for now. So I can choose to align it so that it is aligned in the center and I will align it with the same aligning with this so that everything is on the same line so we can apply our effects for this i'm just going to add shadows to it um, Or you can change the font. I have a ton of fonts which I'm going to give to everyone that participates in this training for free, of course. I'll put a link to it. You can choose. Really, graphics design is just about the font. Choosing the right font for your graphics. It can be really challenging considering the ton of fronts I have. So I'm going to just test run. Test run and see which one will work with our fictitious logistic company. Let's try contour board. Yeah, it looks okay. I don't know why this shadow is not applying to this. Maybe it's because of the color. Let me change the color. Let's say I use this. Wow. It's probably something I did wrong, so let's try to avoid it. Um, what did we say again? Logistics travel and bookings. <coughs> so this is our fictitious brand. Oh, wow, it's still not showing me. Okay, there's something I will do now. I can since I've align this let me just change it to something let's see um, phone travel I'll 
service Our alliance looks very okay now i can even choose to leave it like this and apply it so i will now add text again travel logistics and bookings choose my font from my list of fonts okay I'm going to fast forward through this process so the video will be shorter So this is like a basic logo I just designed now and doing this now you I achieved this using my smartphone and this is what people pay a ton of money to learn. So once done you can save save to your device. It's already saved and you can choose done to end everything or go back. Let's say you forgot to add like the contact so adding something of those nature you can just use your stickers so i'll show you how to create your own cutout now let me select an image now you can do it with your picture you can do it with just an image let me see this image for example i want to apply this image but of course i'm not going to apply it so to create a cutout just click on it and create cutout then you select the area you wish to apply the cutout to it's quite easy um, um, um. Okay, with this I can just click on proceed. And it has created. So you just apply some cleaning touches to it, like removing some unwanted area. You can always go back when you make a mistake. So and if you didn't capture all what you want you can add to it again i think we're all set so this is my sticker now which i can apply to this my fictitious brand let's say your client wants you to include their image or you are doing a flyer or a logo a business card you can just create a cutout like this and apply to your design the same works for both the facebook logo is the same process to to cut out content from it so that's basically it I'm going to remove this, I don't need it. So I can, I can apply 
Okay, another thing that is useful is the drawing tools. Let's say you want to draw. You can add image, you can add your sticker. You can also draw a shape. Let's say you want to include a circle. Select your color. You can use the color picker and choose which color you want. And you just draw the shape. You can also choose to make it a fill and it will fill the entire and to fill it here. Yeah. You can choose there are some basic shapes you can draw. Let's say I want to draw like this and apply it to my work for my contact details. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, it's done. I can choose to remove it. I can add a layer to this. And add a photo layer. It just depends on what you want to do. I'm just playing around with this design, of course, but it's just to show you the basic tools you can use on your pit art. So let's add to it. Yeah, okay. I will save this now. You can try something now. This is like applying a beam effect. And this is just to show you how the basic tools work and the vast tools that are available for you to use. So this is more of an intro. I'll put another video of where I designed a flyer for a brand, a client. But the video I didn't do, it doesn't have a voiceover. That's why I did this initial video. So you will know how it just have, I'll just play it with the music and you see me in action designing for a brand. It's just pretty basic. So you can click on save and it's done. Uh, this is all I have for you for this video. I'll see you in the next one where we will design a 3D logo using Pix Abbey and Pixel Lab. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.